Hi guys and welcome to my channel. For today's shoe box tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this makeup holder. Basically, I use this container to hold my makeup that I wear every day. So, um, it's incredibly easy to make and very, very durable. It can hold all these products. And also, by making your own, you can make sure that this coordinates with your room decor. And so that's why I chose this yellow chevron pattern because it goes well with my colors in my room. Okay, so I quickly wanted to show you guys what it looked like without the makeup products in it. Um, here is the bottom and basically this chevron print is all over the box and it goes in different directions. Um, and inside it's a black with white polka dots and the polka dots are very small but I wanted to stick with the darker color for the inside in case some of the makeup spilled and things like that. And all the materials that you will need for this tutorial will be listed in the description box below. First you're going to take your shoe box and cut it using your X-Acto knife. Okay, so this is what the box should look like cut. It should be flat. And basically this is going to give you a flat area to cut out the pieces. So next you're going to create the templates. Okay, so you should have a base, a back wall, and two side pieces. Next what you want to do is take your box, lay it flat, and then begin to put the pieces onto the box and trace them and cut them what out. What you're going to do is take these uh, various pieces from the box that were left over after you cut it up and reinforce these by gluing them to these sections. Let's go ahead and just start gluing. Um, to glue these you can use a hot glue gun or a glue stick because it's cardboard uh, glue sticks works re really well. Okay so that is what it should look like all the pieces on here. And you want to have very little spacing in between the pieces. You want to cover as much of the surface as you can. So go ahead and do the rest of the pieces like this. Next what you're going to do is spread a thin layer of Mod Podge over the shoebox pieces and then apply decorative paper on top of that. Okay, so here are all five pieces of the box that I'm about to assemble and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and begin to glue the box. Okay, so this is what the makeup holder should look like right now. Um, next, what you're going to do is create the dividers. Okay, guys, so here are my dividers. Um, you may see some uh, spots on here. That's just the Mod Podge that I was using. Thank you. 
okay guys so here is the final product